Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris, I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have another What's Old video for you today. It's a cold day here in Colorado and it is Friday. The kids are home from school. They're downstairs taking a little quiet time, but we're gonna pick out what's sold for us and I'm gonna turn over to Kathy so that she can get picking. Hey friends, I did want to say thank yous to a couple of people who bought us coffees in the last day. Um, Cheryl bought us a coffee and said thank you so much downloaded the spreadsheet and it's great help keep up the great videos you guys are very kind thank awesome. you so much cheryl cheryl thank you so much for that support glad you're enjoying the spreadsheet yes um this next one i think your name is robin so like the original name that it came in as it looks like an address actually so oh, i don't want to say that yeah but then you signed off aka rock and robin so i either you're making a funny joke or your name is robin so <laughs> i'm gonna call you robin um rock and robin rock and robin is saying because of you guys i think i'm ready to start supplementing my social security you have no mm. idea how much you've inspired me to get off my butt so thank you so much for awesome. that rock and robin thank yes. you so much for that support get off your butt and go get some stuff but also <laughs> if you want to yeah. i mean i'm not gonna put... <laughs> but also sitting on your butt's okay too. yeah Sometimes yeah it's just <laughs> relaxing is okay too all right, and then Virginia bought us five copies and said, um, so after downloading several and paying for two, I was able to make yours work for me. So I think she's saying she bought two spreadsheets from different locations. I think that's what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me know if that's wrong. I was having a mental block on entering the inventory in before listing. Once I got past that, I just did it. I realized I had half the listing already, so the listing went faster as well. Yeah. I'm going to start adding my active inventory, which I'm sure will be a breeze. So basically, thanks so much for the help. I'm starting my second year of reselling, so most of last year was a learning experience with great income, but I was a hot mess. Yeah, it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to keep up on the bookkeeping side. Um, yeah, I'm confident starting things off in an organized fashion will allow me to be more focused than last year, so I can tackle the very large death pile I have. Thanks. Thank awesome. you so much, Virginia. Virginia, thank you so much for that support. Glad to see you're having some good goals for this year. And last year was a good learning experience. Just, yeah, always be learning, right? Like, that's the thing. Like, we're still learning every day. Every day. <laughs> and you don't beat yourself up. <laughs> that's, yeah. it's always a learning process. So yeah. tackle that death pile and you'll be good. Guys, thank you so I much. I need to do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a huge death pile. I mean, you guys see stuff everywhere, but yeah. that's usually just... It's just in the works, really. Within, anything you see on the table usually gets listed within a week. My really only death pile is the one little side of the closet right there, but mm -hmm. technically that's either our kids' stuff or our stuff that we've outgrown right. or don't want anymore or a lot of old bins items that I need to do something with, yeah. like fix something on and I don't want to, but bins items are so cheap, so it's not like... It's not like I'm sitting on a thousand bucks that I haven't listed, you know what I mean? It's probably <laughs> right, like a right. hundred, well, plus our own stuff. <laughs> then probably adds up to a thousand. Yeah. You know what I mean. I, I know what you mean. I need to get it listed, and I don't. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for buying us coffees. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that is just a way to help support um, us and as content creators and as a uh, spreadsheet you know we give the spreadsheet away for free and a lot of people are choosing to support the channel through buying us a coffee and there is a link down in our description and when we say buy us a coffee <laughs> we're not drinking like 50 no. gallons of coffee a day <laughs> right. um, a lot of that's going towards supporting the youtube channel and you know the spreadsheet you know just that kind of stuff so um we do appreciate all that support and again if you want to help support us that way there is a link down in our description to buy yeah. me a coffee and i just want to say like I mean, it is free, so I would say just get it the and spreadsheet, then like yeah. see if it's going to work for you before you, if you want to pay to support us. Yes, yeah. Just try it out for a week, a month, whatever you want. If you find value in it and you want to come back and support us, you can use the Buy Me A Coffee link. You don't have to feel like, oh, I want to support them right now. Right. Here's 20 bucks, and then you may never use it or it's just <laughs> not really good because... You know, we all put our own inventory in, in differently, so yeah. it might not work for you. So That's right. Anyways, <laughs> so... Yeah, that's all I wanted to say about that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the first sale of today was this Peak Kids shirt. So that's one of my favorite kids for my favorite kids brands for my kids to wear. Mm. Um, this shirt we've had a while, but I remember picking it up at Goodwill, so I couldn't have paid more than a dollar ninety nine for it. We got somewhere out of it, and I sold out on Kitizen for twenty two fifty, free shipping. I did ship this through Pirate Ship instead of Kitizen because it's a two-ounce shirt and Kitizen doesn't offer a four-ounce label. Mm. So, 
that was pirate ship and it cost 358 through pirate ship so if you didn't know you can use pirate ship so, to do your kids and shipping yeah it does so i did the breakdown and even though the label through kids would have been 415 i only saved seven cents because you get charged a little bit higher of a fee because they're taking the fee out of the total mm -hmm. so i i That's did save seven cents but i had to type out the address in full and then take the tracking and type it in a kitizen. So that took me probably at least three minutes. Yeah. My time is worth more than seven cents for three minutes. <laughs> so it's really just about what you want to do. I yeah. particularly did it for this because I do prefer the kitizen labels I've mentioned in the past. They don't always scan at the post office correctly. Right. And then sometimes they just will never scan until delivery. And so it's just kind of in space yeah. for a week and people are like, did you ship my package? Yeah. So I don't like those messages. So. Uh, yeah, I used to be all about just get the kid as a label because it is super easy. You would just click one button in the app and it would email it to you. You just print it. Yeah. So that is very convenient. But, but yeah, the, those Sendo labels, they, yeah. in our case, we probably get 50, 50, not even that, maybe even like like 30% of them scan at our local yeah, branch. I don't get why. <laughs> right. So. so in which case they have to manually type in the tracking number you know I'm our wait in line for them to do yeah so. our ladies at our branch do it and they're you know they don't have any issue with that but we know many people out there have issues with even your post office yeah. doing scanning <laughs> like so <laughs> it really just depends on on your branch and what you're you know willing to do so yeah you know we just don't really like those labels that much because yeah, we luckily, don't luckily i mean i guess that's not luckily I make fewer kids at kid is in sales these days, obviously, yeah. um, since I'm selling less kid stuff. But yep. if it was more than like one a day, I probably would just use theirs and just, you know, not spend the time typing them all out. But Right. <clears throat> all right. I sold these little kids sock and shoes. I actually bought these off Facebook when they had one of their free shipping deals. So I paid $12 for the shoes. Sold them back on Facebook for twenty nine plus shipping. So okay, I more than double my money, almost a fifteen dollar profit on those. Super easy. They came straight to my house. Those are under a pound, so they're just gonna ship in a poly mailer. All right, A Z. Mud pie. This is a cute little mud pie. I'm selling a lot of kid stuff today after I said I don't sell them much kid stuff anymore. All right. Um, yeah. I still like kid stuff because it's just so cheap to source. Like, this is the mm -hmm. stuff I love to fill up my store with, even though it might take a while to sell. Yeah. Where I don't necessarily care about sell through rate because, like, this I paid a dollar fifty for. Mm -hmm. And I'm making about a $9 profit. It sold for $12 plus shipping on eBay. Right. So. It did sit a few months, but I can be out a dollar fifty. That's not a big deal. Right. So, yeah. And I think that's why we rarely have days where we don't have sales, right? Like because we do kid yeah. stuff. We do we do just such a variety of things. There's always somebody in the market for something that we have, you know, whether it's really expensive or really inexpensive or really small, really big kids, adults, like. I think something that's, for everyone. yeah, there's something for everyone. And that's kind of what we go for. We like a big variety um, just to keep our yeah. store mm -hmm. as consistent as we can. And that kind of sounds like it's going against being consistent. Like if yeah, we had just, all adult XL shirts, right? Us consistent is just listing a certain amount per day or per yeah. week instead of listing a certain, like some people want a $50 average sale price. I don't care about that at all. Like I right. just care about a certain, I do care about a certain like, monthly how much i'm gonna make but it all just works itself out i guess yeah all right this actually sold to a viewer i haven't put it away yet because i just listed it last night so this is going out to jane um she's been said been watching our channel for a few months now i believe and this was her first time buying from us so thank you awesome. so much jane um this was that polo ralph lauren sweater we bought on one of our videos i think last week i just Finally got it in the house and listed though. <laughs> um, I paid $5.99 for this at Goodwill and Jane bought it from us for $49.95 plus shipping. Thank you so awesome. much, Jane. Jane. Thank you so much for that support. All right, that's gonna ship out in a padded flat rate. I did, well, yeah, Never mind. <laughs> thank you, Jane. Yeah, thanks again for that support. All right. Hope you enjoy the shirt. Yes. <laughs> All right, I think this is BQ. BQ or bad writing? I don't know. So this is, 
I didn't buy this for the brand. I think the brand is vintage. Well, it's, the brand is not vintage. <laughs> it's a vintage sweater vest, but the brand okay. is St. Edmund something or other, I think. Anyways, bought it on style in that it's 100% wool. Um, I pretty much pick up anything 100% wool if it doesn't have holes in it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, I picked this up, I think last week for $5.99, sold it for 25 plus ship on eBay. That is under a pound, so it is worth a ship and a poly mailer. Under a pound for a wool shirt. Uh, I think this is under, this wasn't even 12 ounces. Yeah, it's cool. like a 10 ounce, it's like, um, it's a vest, so. Oh, it's yeah. It's not a full on Missing half the sweater, shirt. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. All right, oh, the next item is in BQ too. Oh. Yeah, like if we if we weren't filming our what sold and stuff, obviously I would know that those were both in BQ before I would go yeah. pick them. I would just have a pick list. Right. Write them all down at once at my desk and then go pick them all. But yeah. Since we're doing the videos, I don't really pay that much attention. Yeah, we do to things it. a little differently for for yeah. camera just to make it make sense. So. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, these are some little Clarks like a boat shoe. I picked these up at Goodwill for six ninety nine. They sold on eBay for twenty six sixty six plus shipping. It's funny because yesterday we like had all boxes. So far today, it's all yeah, bags. all bags, <laughs> all polys. Makes life easy. Right. Yeah, I think one of the one question we've gotten a few times is like, how do you how do you know how what you're going to be shipping in it before even picking the <laughs> item? I and just know. yeah, <laughs> I just a lot of I'd probably say 99% of the time, you know, you know, it's going to go in a poly and you know, the way we pack things up as far as like, we know that this size bag will go inside that size poly. So by the time we have it in our inventory, we know we weigh things. We yeah, keep that in our spreadsheet. Sometimes Chris does fold the clothes for me. So like this will fit in here, but sometimes if it's a sweater, it'll be a little bit longer yeah. and then I'll just either I mean, use a bigger really bag or what you don't need to know what you're going to ship it in necessarily as long as you got the weight right i know that none of my dimensions are going to be over the max allowed for the mm -hmm. you don't actually have to type in the dimensions if it's just like you know what i mean like yeah the sweater. weight is the more more critical like, part i know this sweater is going to ship in a 10 by 13 but when i print my ebay label i still put like 18 by 14 by 6 just right i don't think it actually matters unless if you are shipping a huge box like this yeah anytime um, you're over like what the 18 i think it's about it's not just that it's like 18 by 14. Like those are the dimensions I just know in my head. Okay. But like it could be really tall and skinny, like a golf club box. Oh or yeah. It's the... just like the total. Right. Whatever. But I think it's like 130 something. Right. Like the way around. But so the vast majority of our stuff is small enough where we don't really have to think about the size. Yeah. So we just all have I need to think to know about the is, weight. And we already put the weights in our spreadsheet. So as I pull up my item in the yeah. spreadsheet, I'm like, oh, okay, that that sweater weighed 10.2 ounces. So. Mm -hmm. I know I'm gonna ship it at a 12 ounce rate because if you didn't know this, you don't have to go just up to the next. At yeah. least like, well, on eBay, PayPal, whatever. It's four, six, not six, four, eight, 12, 16, one pound. Right. Um, so you don't like, if that's 10.2, even with the weight of the bag, it's under 11, I'm still gonna put 12. 12, because, yep. Um, why not just give yourself the extra cushion in case the post office scale's a little different. Yeah, here, every so. scale is gonna come in a little bit different. So we just add that little cushion <laughs> in our favor. And, you know, to be completely honest, there are times when we have to see if something like fits in a padded flat rate, right? Like if we're sending something really far away and the flat rate is cheaper than, you know, whatever. If we do that, we will show you guys like we've pulled it and put it yeah. in a padded flat rate. Yeah, so sometimes we do have to pick. Yeah. Stuffed in there and I'm like, I'm not taking that back out. That was yeah. hard to put in there. <laughs> but for the for like 99 percent of the stuff, it's just muscle memory for Kathy. And that's. Yeah. Something I don't know if I will ever have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I also think that's something that a lot of people like probably don't know. I might waste time doing just like, oh, I have to know like the exact thing that I'm going to. Yeah. That's why I don't list the big items very fast. Like the snowboard took us forever to list because we did have to figure out the dimensions and what right. box. But something like this, that everyday shoes and clothes is super easy. Mm hmm. This is actually a Starbucks Colorado mug. Um, if you did not know this, like, you know, I get points on your Starbucks app. Like whenever you buy a drink, you get points. Mm -hmm. You can redeem them for free drinks. You can also redeem them for merchandise. Um, if you get 400 points on the app, you get up to a $20 cup or I think you could buy whatever they have there that's under 20, 20 bucks. bucks. Yeah. The sad thing is if it's like one cent over 20, you can't, they won't let you just pay the difference. You, oh, really? Yeah, it's so annoying. Cause I really like the, um, the tall tumblers, tumblers but that are yeah. like the metal ones mm -hmm. so the plastic ones are under 20 but the metal ones are usually like 24 
95 and I'd be happy to pay five bucks, but they won't <laughs> let you. So anyways, recently, like ever since COVID, they almost have like no merchandise. Mm -hmm. This was like the only cup there, but I was like, hey, I'm going to just buy that. Well, I looked it up on eBay first and they were selling for about $30 plus shipping. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to just do that. Sell it on eBay. Yeah. So I did. I just bought it a couple days ago and it sold already for twenty-seven fifty-five plus shipping. I listed it at thirty, I think, but uh, we had a little bit of a sale running, so yeah, really good. Um, I mean, you could also redeem your points for drink, free drink. So the drinks you only have to spend one hundred fifty points to get a free drink, but that's like about a five dollar or so savings. Yeah, and then so one hundred fifty, one hundred fifty that puts you at three hundred. So I'd say it's about a thirteen dollar savings to you know, get a drink and basically an extra 100 points. Yeah. Or this made me, well, I wrote it down, $22.13 in profit after the fees and shipping and everything. So mm -hmm. I am coming out ahead. Yeah, I had to do a tiny bit of work, three photos and list it, but <laughs> made an extra like 10 bucks than I would have if I just got the free drinks with my points. And it's more fun to do it that way. And you guys bought us coffee, so yeah. thank you. <laughs> yeah. So technically you guys bought that. You guys bought us coffee and a coffee cup to yes. sell for profit. So thank you so much. <laughs> so yeah, whenever I hit 400 points again, I'll probably just keep doing that. You know, yeah. some of them, if you have a lot of inventory where you guys live, um, the only um, ones yeah. that seem to have good cups are the Safeway, and they won't let you use your points for... They'll let you use your points for the free drinks, but they won't let you get the cups there. I don't know why, so... Mm. But yeah, all the standalone stores, I... They, like, don't have anything recently. It's sad. Do you think Colorado location mug does better than some places, or... Some places? I mean, that was a pretty cute mug, but... I think people just collect the location mugs, so. Yeah. Yeah, just look up whatever state you're in, because, yeah, your, whatever state you're in should have those right. mugs at your location, so. This was, well, I don't know if this was the most profitable, but it was definitely the most high-priced item of the day. All right, so this is a Filson jacket. If you don't know this brand, burn it in your memory. It's probably one of, like, the best-selling brands. Oh. It was trash day. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, Trash Man came by, it's trash day, yeah. with his loud truck interrupting the video. Alright, so, anyhow, this is a Filson jacket. If you don't know that brand again, this is probably one of like the one of the best brands you could look out for, definitely right now. Um, I've never found it thrifting, so this is a retail arbitrage find. You can see that I did pay $109 for this. What? But I just bought it. Well, I bought it like a week or two ago, but I forgot to list it. So I finally listed it and it sold in less than two days of being listed. Nice. And it's a men's small. So like you would think that might take longer, but it didn't. Well, it took two whole days. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. If it was like a double X, it probably would have sold in like two minutes. But <laughs> anyway, so these retail for a ton. They're very hard to like find on sale anywhere or anything like that. Like the retail price on here is two ninety five. Wow. Um, I don't know what I listed mine at, but we did have the sale running. So the buyer, I think I listed at like two twenty nine. Buyer paid two hundred four sixty six okay. plus, plus shipping on top. Luckily, he I charged fourteen ninety nine for shipping, but buyer lived in Texas, so it only cost like nine dollars to ship it, or like eight seventy something. Okay. So, yeah, it was very cheap. I actually, well, I screenshotted you a breakdown of. Okay, I'll, yeah. my Instagram I'll put story, that so here I'll then. Yeah, that. we'll add that right here. So it shows the full breakdown of how much I paid, including tax. So this is one oh nine, but with tax it was like one seventeen ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Which guys, I know I've, we've been getting this question a little bit. If you're doing cost of goods, yeah. include your sales tax that you pay for that. That whatever it costs for you to acquire that item yeah. is your cost of goods. So when I tell you how much I paid for something, I'm telling you what the five ninety nine at Goodwill, but in right. the spreadsheet it will say like six forty. It'll include the tax, yeah. So. Yeah, you don't want to be paying extra taxes. Right. Like, you're basically double taxing then. So, anyways, this sold for, yeah, $204.66. Um, you'll see the breakdown, but it came out to, like, almost $65 in profit, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a brand new item. I had to do very little work for a $60 profit. Like yeah, 60 bucks in two days. Work, yeah. So. Um, on the thing that you're going to see, though, I did say the only shipping materials I was going to be using was, because I'm using a free box, this one. Um, and then otherwise, well, I'm using a Dymo label that's like two cents, a thank you sticker, I forgot to say that, that's like one cent. Mm -hmm. And then I did not mention I was going to put it in a bag before putting it in here, so that's like 50 cents. Okay. So, 
less than a dollar in materials. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, uh, what about tape for the box? Well, I did say a couple strips of tape. But I did not break down the cost because I don't know how much a couple strips of tape cost right. exactly. Right. We just, yeah. guys, we expense those, obviously. Yeah. So we just have, like just added to our expenses we I don't think about that per item right. or per day even. we do it's we just... kind of it's generally we spend about 25 or 30 cents per item yeah. that's just what we have in our head obviously this is a higher cost one just because it's bigger but the smaller things take less yeah. so it's an average of 25 to 30 cents mm -hmm. per item in shipping materials that's what we typically spend on like our clear bags stickers tape all that stuff but we don't track it with each sale. we don't track we it with each sale with we each. do that as an expense at the end of the year yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's what this is. So I need to remember not to <laughs> to take that tag off. You guys reminded me of the Timberlands yesterday. Yeah. Lovely. I did take it off before I shipped them, but yeah, it was still on there in the <laughs> video, and you all were concerned for me. Thank you. Because <laughs> I don't think I've done that before, but I've had friends that have done it, and people yeah. get they get mad even though you got a good deal, right? Right. Like, which yeah, I the... because I don't like when people leave like numbers on the bottom of shoes that I bought right. there. So. The All buyer right. of this could be extremely happy that they got this for the price that they did. And if they see how much we paid, that could turn the whole yeah. feeling on their <laughs> side sour. Yeah. You know, even though they're like, they still got a good deal. <laughs> we just got a better deal, I guess. <laughs> and but. I did feel okay paying 109 for this because this store that I bought it from has 30 day returns. Although I did take two weeks to list it. So I kind of ate into that a little bit. Yeah. But I had set an alarm on my phone or a reminder on my phone to tell me like on February 1st, I think it was February 3rd, I would have had to return it by. So mm -hmm. it was gonna remind me on February 1st to return that if it hadn't sold yet, but it sold, so. Yeah, so that's a good little hint Very little too, risk. little trick. Yeah. If you're wanting to get into retail arbitrage and maybe you are hesitant, you know, leave the, the sticker on so that you are able to return it if you're able to return, yeah. right? Source something that you, you can mm -hmm. return, try to sell it within that return window and then just don't photograph the the sticker yeah right? like i kind of had that hidden in the yeah so just hide the sticker it, so. and you know i don't think there's anything really wrong with that do you I morally i know some people think that maybe i mean maybe some it's i don't funny because we don't accept returns on like our ebay store and stuff right but it's not like we're using it no, I mean, or accept it's going to be so. the same condition when yeah. we return it so <laughs> i don't think there's anything really wrong with that yeah. If you disagree with us, let us know in the comments. But I'm sure a lot of people will disagree, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm interested to know because I, I, I'd like to know what people think. What do you think, Reese? I don't think he cares. Oh, man, I got your head to get up. Oh, you woke my baby. <laughs> I was expecting him to stay dead asleep like every other day. Maybe he doesn't agree with me. Maybe that's... <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I know we don't tell you everywhere that we retail arbitrage just because, yeah. like, if everyone goes find those filthy jackets, they won't be yeah. selling for um, 200 something dollars still. Yeah. But basically what I would say is just wherever you go, just look around. What do they have? Like, even when I was Christmas shopping for our kids, I'd say Walmart. Mm -hmm. There's toys on clearance. There's video games on clearance. There's clearance every store you go to in the world so right even target i know people just flip target clearance so Which, anywhere you go just kind of keep in your mind can i make a profit yeah and i did get the question and i it made me realize that not everybody realizes what retail arbitrage oh, yeah. is so you know some we forget because this is what we do every day we yeah. forget there's new viewers who are not, not really resellers. resellers yeah so we throw around terms all the time that we just kind of expect people to know uh, but retail arbitrage is just basically buying something brand new with tag from, from a, retail a retail store, store and then selling it for more online so yes. you could do this at like walmart clearance um you know so what comes to mind is like uh, a goodwill you're going to a yeah a real retail store that sells new with tag products it doesn't have to be just clothes it could be yeah. anything anything clearance you know just take that clearance sticker off sell it for one that i love more. to follow on instagram thrift to travel she does like discontinue just like products like um home cleaning products makeup yeah. products those kinds of things and she is amazing at that so <laughs> yeah yeah, I mean, literally anywhere you go, including Home Depot, like any, I think she gets a lot of her stuff at just like the little mom and pop shops that kind yeah. of sell the leftovers from like the little stores, true like value stores yeah. from back in the day. Yeah. So everywhere you go, there's profit. You just <laughs> got to look for it. So. Yeah. And the more you do this, it's like a muscle. The more you see profit everywhere you look. <laughs> you kind of can't turn it off at that point. So. <laughs> All right, this is my son's hoodie. It's just, child, it's the brand Childhood. See, and it says magical. He only wore it once for our little Christmas thing. But we got some good photos out of it, so was worth buying. Um, I bought it straight from Childhood, so I probably paid around $40 for it. I accepted a $36 offer this morning. Buyer also paid shipping, so I'm making back about 
31 32 dollars on a 40 dollar item that we got some use out of so i'm very happy with that cool that will go in a mailer almost done with these hmm. the pumpkin mailers thanksgiving ish but will fall it's still fall right till december oh no I mean, when it's technically fall. winter, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, after December. Is it December 21st? Or I don't January know. 21st? I don't know. I don't know. Winter solstice? Is that the switch? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's snowing. All That's all I know. <laughs> we do have a little bit of snow today. And it's super windy. It's trash day. And our neighborhood is just full of trash because trash cans are blowing over. It's so windy today. Yeah. I think we're going to get not a snowstorm, but a lot of snow tonight. Yeah. And it's going to be, I think it's going to be like froze, like icy, frozen. We live in a newer developed area, so there's not a lot of trees and right. stuff to like stop. No wind blocks. Yeah, so like the main road by our house, if there's any real snow and wind, it's you pretty much can't go anywhere yeah. for like a day at least. <laughs> yep. All right, a couple more sales here. This one has been in our inventory for probably three years, maybe more. <laughs> Whenever <laughs> I started Poshmark, probably one of my first 10 items listed or something. Um, the brand is Ellen Tracy. I don't even know what that is, <laughs> but it came, I think this came from like, I always talk about when I kind of started reselling, we bought from the neighbor over here of oh, bags yeah. and bags and bags mm -hmm. of clothes. Um, I originally took everything to you know um play-dohs once upon a child clothes mentor, mentor got yeah. way more than i paid to begin with so i was already in the profit and then everything else was technically free but i didn't want to just donate it so i listed it yeah so that's been listed for forever but it's <laughs> sold today for eight dollars with discount shipping so i make 355 profit off of that yeah hey. speaking of that's a great way to start if you're not into reselling yet or even if you're newer you know and started if you can get like those big lots of um like what what do you call it uh fill a bag sales yeah, a garage, garage sales. sales if you can get stuff for super cheap and just take it right yep, to the consignment the shops like we didn't know about the bins at this point like yeah actually it's funny i think someone at our church told me about the bins i was a reseller at that point but i still hadn't heard of the bins yet um, yeah yeah so it was patty from church but yeah oh. she <laughs> she said she liked to go there for fun and she i was like i I told her I liked the pair of shoes she was wearing one day, and she's like, oh, I got them from the Goodwill out. Well, she didn't call it the bin. She called it the outlet, and I didn't right. know what that was. So she told me, and ever <laughs> since, I was like, oh, I need to go there, and yeah. So, so anyways, so yeah. you can go to the bins. Everything's so cheap. You usually will find one item in your whole haul that will pay for your whole haul. Right. Like, I can fill a whole cart full for, like, 50 bucks there. Yeah. If you don't have 50 bucks, if you have 5 bucks, if you have 2 bucks, you could go find one yep. item and essentially double, triple right 10 times your money, i mean even so. josh over harry tornado does that sometimes with like play it against sports right he'll go get like a big golf bag and sell it for 15 bucks just yeah. like the same day you know it's just a good way to try to get some some instant cash, cash instant yep. yeah so yes obviously you can usually sell stuff for more if you do it yourself but sometimes yeah. just to be in the profit and then not worrying like oh i'm, I'm already out 50 bucks or get your 50 bucks back like right away yeah, sometimes the stuff doesn't sell for two years and then it eventually does, like this one. <laughs> yep, I'm about to put, this is the stuff we pulled out that I want to do something else Down with, like get rid of, but I might just put it back in because it might sell. Like, I don't know. <laughs> nah, we should probably just get rid of it. <laughs> All right, this last is actually a viewer sale and she bought four items. This is the first one, an Under Armour camo hat. This is going out to Christy. So Under Armour camo hat, box N. This side. Yeah. These little girl Tommy Bahama shorts with a cute belt. I think you got our last pair of these. I think I had like 10 pairs of them to begin okay. with. So those all sold off. All right, AV. That's not it. Oh. Did you get the wrong line on the spreadsheet, maybe? Probably. My eyes don't work good. Let me check. Yeah, we'll look that up real quick, and then we'll be right back. We're thinking it might have been AU instead yeah. of AV. <laughs> yeah, AU. That's what it was. So I didn't even cut for very long. Oh. It was just like she looked at it again. But you could see my writing. It looks yeah. like a V, right? That does look like a V. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, so this... And that's how I write my labels. If anyone was curious, <laughs> if it's a viewer, I write their name. I write where I'm picking it from. 
the item, whatever it is, and then how much I paid for it, and then what the buyer paid for it. Right here I wrote 13 just because that's what the four items total to, but normally gotcha. it would just be like one item. Right. This is a brand cinch. Um, it's a good Western wear brand to look out for. The shirts I can usually get 20 to 25 plus ship. This is a, a pearl snap. I probably wouldn't just buy the normal buttons, but I like pearl snap stuff. And yeah, the jeans do pretty well too, so. Cinch jeans, yeah. yeah. All right, in the box S. Are you sure it's an S? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> just what else kidding. could that be? Uh, that's why it's a joke. <laughs> I know it's a joke. <laughs> Uh, this is a Fox Racing, which actually we found when we were doing our inventory. It was in a box, but it was not listed. Originally, I had a bunch of these, so it was listed at one point, but I must have marked it out of stock and still had one left. So, yeah, so Christy bundled all these four on Posh, offered me 55 I was happy to accept. I have $13 into the four items all together, so. Awesome. Yeah, Christy, thank, you, thank Christy. you for that support. Hope you enjoy your items. That hat looks nice. I don't think it would fit my head, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It did because he tried it on and I asked. I actually bought it thinking he might want it and he didn't. So. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> he asked I don't remember. I legitimately do not remember trying that Sometimes on. Sometimes I'll ask him a question about the video that he just re yeah. like, edited that day and he'll be like, I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> like what? You just edited it that day. Anyways. Spoiler alert, guys. I'm getting old. <laughs> and my memory's going. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna get this stuff packed up and then we'll be right back. All right, guys, got everything all packed up and looking outside. I think we're going to be getting some snow yep, starting. tonight. So we're going to probably be hunkered down. Try it. We'll get our shipping out. Luckily, I've got I've got a truck with four wheel drive and our post office is not very far. So as long as they're open, <laughs> I'll take them. It's tomorrow, I mean, yeah, like tomorrow, Saturday. Snow. Yeah, if we, if we get a lot of snow. Tomorrow is Saturday. Yeah, and Monday's a holiday, Monday so is we a do want to ship tomorrow, which I know in the new year, I was like, oh, I don't really want to ship on Saturdays, but it always feels like yeah. it's a holiday, or I just got like 10 sales by the morning, and I'm like, right. I don't want to do all those on Monday, so I don't know. I just ship <laughs> when I feel like it. That's the beauty of all this. You don't have to, but you can. Yeah. Do it how you want. Yep. What do you think, Reese? I agree. I agree. I, I could use a nap right now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to get that stuff off to the post office. And our boys are home today, so we don't have to pick them up. Um, we'll probably end up, uh, you know, maybe get a few more listings up for Kathy. Hang out with the boys. We've been... Show the, I mean... Oh, you want to show the board? I'm trying to... So, yeah, last week, I didn't quite hit. So, I want to do a minimum of 100, but I want to... Technically, I want to do 105, but minimum 100. A week. Right. Yeah. I kind of smudged this. I think it said 3320, but that's how much dollars I listed, not including shipping. Um, so far this week, I think to get to 100, I need to list like 43 more between today and tomorrow, which should be fine. I already have 30 mm -hmm. drafts ready to go. Um, okay. So, yeah, tonight we'll put on a movie or something. Probably all list while the kids watch a movie, eat some popcorn. Yeah. And yeah, and then tomorrow when it's light out, I don't like photographing in the dark unless it's like shoes. I don't like photographing clothes. I just feel like I'm missing flaws and stuff, even mm -hmm. though we have the bright lights. Yeah. So I, yeah, it's just every time I've done it, the next day I'll look at the items as I'm bagging them up find and something. find something that I didn't <laughs> see. So I just don't really do clothes unless it's daylight. So yeah. It is nice to be able to look at it at daylight and under the light at the same time. Because yeah. I feel like you see things differently. Some things you can only see under the lights, and yeah. some things you only see under the daylight, so. Yep, and I, that whole rack of shoes over there is ready to be, like, photographed, so I have plenty of... Oh, so that's not even part of your 30 that you no, have? like, I already have 30 in, like, Sweet. perfectly ready to type out. Um, okay, so we're good have... for the snowstorm if it comes. Yeah, so, and then these I just typed in before we started recording, so I just need to wipe numbers off the bottoms, but these are all basically don't need anything, like, cleaned about them other than the numbers, so, yeah. Cool. Yeah. that's what we got going on so we're gonna cut the video here guys thank you so much for watching thanks for all the amazing support from our viewers today guys we do really appreciate that anyway i hope to see you guys in the next one